What would you say is the current mood um, with Brentford fans and Thomas Frank as well? Um, fourth consecutive season, um, hopefully the improvement on last year, as you said. Yeah, I think the mood at the moment is good. Um, speaking for the majority of Brentford fans, I'm not worried about the sort of the transfer business just yet. Um, there were a few links linking Thomas Frank away to to different jobs. I think he was linked to the Man United job, the Chelsea job. I even saw a Bayern Munich link as well. I'm not sure how much credibility or credence we can give that credence. Sorry, um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say the mood is good. I think Thomas Frank's time at Brentford, the sort of the links that he's had over these last kind of couple of months or so, it, I kind of had it in my head, and I don't know why. I kind of had it in my head that he would be at Brentford forever, but it's clear that he's not. He's got he's got some um, he's got some suitors. He, he's a good manager. I mean, the job that he's done at Brentford, keeping us in the league for our fourth consecutive season, like you just said, with the budget that we have. Is tremendous and I think he does deserve a chance to go to a bigger club and kind of prove himself maybe maybe not a top six club just yet but maybe a club that's sort of pushing towards Europe like a Brighton or, or a West Ham I think um, sort of those kind of clubs that aren't quite in the top six yet but kind of are looking sort of up as opposed to looking down but yeah the mood is difficult Brentford fans are a very reactive bunch trust me it's I feel like me and the me and my co-hosts and the kind of sensible Brentford fans are always the ones trying to not not look on the bright side but just kind of calm everyone down a bit um we need to be realistic we're we're not a big club we're, we're this probably the smallest club in the premier league bar maybe bournemouth um we need to be realistic about the pool that we have when we're trying to attract players managers etc so i'm not i don't want to say that i'm <laughs> i don't I, I know i said at the start that i'm still happy to be in the premier league i don't want to have that kind of you know we need to accept that we're a premier league club now um but it is difficult. That that gap between the top six and the rest of the league has never been as pronounced as it is these days. So it's difficult to kind of want progression when it's kind of not over before it started. But that if you want to break into Europe, it's going to be very, very difficult without Saudi owners. <laughs> Big question there, Mike. I've been asking this for everybody else. Uh, your prediction for it, which, um, as I said, we hopefully elevate, you know, oh, that's the wrong word. Well, hopefully we'll do what, you guys have been able to do establish yourself in the Premier League and stay up. Hopefully, we can. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think it's going to be difficult. I think you saw last year the the three teams that got promoted. I think I mentioned at the top that you know if Forest and Everton hadn't have got those points deductions, it would have been even clearer, and probably Brentford would have been dragged into it too. But I think you saw with Burnley that Vincent Company kind of refused to to try to change his playing style. Uh, when he came up and then he only realized too late and it just kind of all got a bit too much Sheffield United decided to sell sell all their best players and not bring anyone in so it's not really a surprise that they went down but I like the players that the Ipswich have brought in I think Ben Johnson's a really smart signing proven Premier League experience Amari Hutchinson kind of speaks for itself um Murich Burnley fans would have been really disappointed to let him go uh, and I like the manager as well and you've already got sort of some of these players who you hope that will be able to prove it and you know there's there's a there's a there's a benchmark there for Brentford players, like the spine of Brentford's team. It, it, it hasn't really changed since the championship days. Even Pinnock, Christian Norgard, Rico Henry, Ivan Tony, these are all players that were with us in the championship. It's just a case of whether they can prove themselves in the Premier League. So you're looking at your Leif Davies and you're thinking he's probably one of Ipswich's best players last season. So can he do it in the Prem? I think that he will be able to. It's just a case of whether they can or not. I like McKenna. I like the fact that in League One, he was kind of playing with a, with a back three, and then in, in the Championship, he switched to a back four. I think that's something that Thomas Frank has done to an amazing extent, and it's testament to his kind of malleability as a manager, which I think you need to have when you come up. Um, I, I mentioned Vincent Company; he he was a bit too stubborn. Whereas I think Thomas Frank has said, right, this is the way we're going to play against the teams in the top six or the teams that are going to have more of the ball. This is the way we're going to play against the teams that we think we can beat. And I think if Kieran McKenna can kind of adapt or make those similar changes, then Ipswich will be in a really good place. And I think the last thing is Portman Road. Like Portman Road was absolutely rocking last year. Like if if you can kind of, and I know there was a bit of a narrative around Luton and Kenilworth Road and if they can turn it into that fortress. But I think as much as everyone loved the Luton story, if you look at their kind of underlying numbers from last year, they, they were pretty bad. <laughs> they conceded a lot of chances, a lot, a lot of chances. And they did have some some good results or not even results. They had some, some good nights down at Kenilworth Road. I think the Arsenal one sticks out. I think they lost 4-3. But 
Portman Road, I think some of the limbs that I saw there last year were just incredible. <laughs> some of the some of the last minute winners, and it's a lot bigger than Portman Road, so the atmosphere is obviously going to be ramped up a notch. So I like the manager, I like the players, I like the signings you've already made. I'm really hoping that you can stay up. Um, I'd say you're probably better placed than some of the other clubs to do so, just because there's going to be that kind of those intangibles, that feel good factor around the club. Everyone's not going to be talking about the other two clubs that have come up. They're going to be talking about Ipswich because it's the new one. So. Let's hope we can. Let's hope Ipswich. We I almost said we there. Let's hope. Let's hope Ipswich can live up to the bill. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm. I'm hoping. I'm hoping Ipswich can stay up. I, I think you've got a good chance at it. I just think it is difficult for teams coming up these days, and it that's like that's another reason as to why Thomas Frank's done such an incredible job at Brentford to go to keep us in the Premier League and for us to be going into our fourth season.